Hey folks, Walt Biscardi back with you on a Creative Cow tutorial, and tonight I'm talking about tabs. Yeah, you know these little tabs up here that you can flip through various things with? Well, they can actually be rather helpful to your workflow. If you didn't already know it, anything with a tab can be its own window. So right here is the Effects tab, which holds on to all of our transitions in Final Cut Pro and filters. Well, I can just grab that and pull that on out and suddenly make its own window. And that's really nice and handy dandy so I can see all my effects and transition just sitting out here. Oh, let's see. Here's that dip to color dissolve. Yeah, drag that on down there. And now I got a nice little dip to color. So anything with a tab, you can pull out and create its own window. And that can be mighty darn handy dandy. Let me show you one of the ways I use it. I'll put the effect back here. Now, if you create a graphic in Photoshop, especially something that has a bunch of layers in it, and you open it up, Final Cut Pro makes sequences. So these are some lower thirds that I have for a show that I do. Well, I want to put them in this timeline, but here they are. <laughs> Folks, if you ever try to make a tutorial with a dog throwing a tennis ball at your feet, it's rather amusing. Trust me. So I've got these graphics that I made in Photoshop, a whole bunch of lower thirds, and then these are background to those lower thirds. But here's my timeline over here, and I want to put all those lower thirds in this timeline so I can keep switching back and forth. I can come over here, I can double-click this into the viewer, then I can come down here, and I can double-click that into the viewer and move that down into my timeline. But gee, that's a pain in the butt. Now I'm just going to grab this tab and pull it out here. I'm going to reach over to the right and just make that a little smaller. Now I'm doing all of this on a single display for a tutorial, so uh, things are a little tight here. But let's see, I can go ahead and do that. Now I can go ahead and grab this. Put that over here. Make these a little smaller. And, you know. And, of course, on two screens, this would be a lot easier to see everything. But now look how nice and neat all of this is. So now to make my lower third, well, first of all, let's just go ahead and grab this. Here's the here's the top part of the lower third. All right, we go on over here. There it is. Five ounces of sugar. Yeah, that looks like something. That looks like about five ounces of sugar, don't you think? Bob, I think you got five ounces of sugar in that scoop. Go ahead and drop it. All right, now we just put that over here and line that up. There we go. Now I got that graphic laid in there. I'm going to come on over here. Okay, this is where uh, I got to put in this big factoid. I just simply dropped that over here. So instead of having to reach back and forth across all the various all the various timelines, well, see, I've got my graphics sitting right there, and I can just work, thanks to these tabs, just pulling out and making their own separate windows. Let me go ahead and close those for a second. My favorite, absolute favorite use of this, everybody knows about the scopes. You can come on up here and you go video scopes. And you get a really nice scope here. You know, I can see my parade. I can see, see my vector scope. See my waveform, but they're all kind of small. And if you don't know it already, you can hit video scopes. You can hit video scopes. Oh, now I got three of them. And again, I'm on a single monitor right now. But if you have two monitors, you can move these over to the second monitor. Now I'm going to say waveform, vector scope, and I'm going to say parade. So now I got three nice big screens. Let's just go ahead and move this over here. Let's move this over here. We'll put this one up here. Again, if you're working on a dual screen system, which I hope all of you are, uh, you got a lot more room for this kind of stuff. But look at this. Now i got three nice big scopes, and they all work. Boy, isn't that a lot easier than just uh, looking at all of them in one? So, folks, those are tabs in Final Cut Pro. Oh, and if you're done with a tab, you can go ahead and throw them all back into the same window, and now they're all compact back into the same window. So, folks, tabs in Final Cut Pro, use them. Hey, folks, if you like that tip, you should check out my buddy Shane Ross's DVD, Getting Organized in Final Cut Pro. He's got all kinds of great tips in there to help you get more efficient and faster with the interface. And heck, while you're at it, check out the whole Cow Master Series. Well, that's it for me. I'm Walt Biscardi, and wherever you are in this fantastic world, I hope you have a great day.